guys, so in today's video, welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, drop a like, smash subscribe, and sorry guys for the bad lighting, but in today's video, I was going to do um, the Coco story, because Coco finally let me hold him this morning, um, but I was going to try to get him out, and he was acting all antsy and crazy, so I'm going to film that video tomorrow, um, so yeah, today... I just thought, since I gotta do this either way, I've been doing um, salt baths for OJ every other day, just to make sure he's fully healed up and is getting fully healed. I don't think he's gotten any better. Uh, I can't really tell if you guys know if he's gotten any better, comment down below. I don't think it's gotten any better, guys. It kinda looks the same to me. Um, but his breathing's definitely gotten better. He's not gasping for air anymore. I don't know if you guys can tell. That's definitely gotten better. So we're gonna be giving him a salt bath, so the things you're gonna need. Got a little, not a tutorial by the way, just like what I'm doing. Could be a tutorial, but I'm not making it. I'm gonna need a Tupperware container, a net or something to get your fish out of the tank. And then I'm gonna use aquarium salt. You, some people say this doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. But it does help promote overall fish, helps promote gill function, and help reduce stress. So I think it works. Um, you can use Epsom salt, a lot of people use Epsom salt. It's completely up to you. Um, so what you're going to want to do after you get your Tupperware container is you're just going to want to stick it in here and get a decent amount of tank water. Now, like I said, you don't want too much to where your fish can jump out, but you also don't want too much to where your fish won't be able to breathe. So depending on the size of your fish, you can just do it that way. And I guess we're going the tutorial route, even though, by the way, do not claim to be an expert. Now for the netting, I just like to go in nice and slow and just... See if you can corner the fish. That's what I like to do. And if you get them nice and slow, you can kind of get them on an edge. Like I just got OJ right here. And you don't want to harm them. That's why I'm not trying to go too hard with them. Just slowly. And you want to wait for him to swim inside the net. Just like this, guys. I'm going to lower him into the bucket and when they first get in they're gonna try to jump by the way that's what OJ does I don't know it really depends on your fish so I just like to keep my net just above them like this you guys can see OJ in there and now the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to open your salt OJ's kind of used to this so he doesn't freak out as much but they definitely will freak out um so then I need a tablespoon of salt so I like to do pinches at a time some people just add it all straight away um, I like to do pinches at a time, so we just added that one pinch, and then it's supposed to be about a, t um, let me read again, yeah, so, so it's one tablespoon for every gallon, so I think about a, pin a couple pinches would work perfect, because this is not even a gallon yet, guys, so I like to sprinkle, not on the wound, but pretty near fish, so he can inhale it and help carry the wound, I also like to sprinkle some in the net, and then just dip the net in there, guys, to let it soak out, guys. Um, sorry, guys, if you do hear noise in the background. My sister at Emily's Arch doesn't care at all. You guys, sorry about that. But the next thing you're going to want to do is I just like to, while your fish is out of the tank, you can clean the tank, maintain the tank. That's completely up to you. But for me, I just like to sit here and I set a timer for 15 minutes. This is what I always do. You always want to set a timer. People do 10. Um, last time I did 8, but today I'm going to do 15 so right now I'm gonna say, hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. Okay. There you guys go. So when this timer's up, I'll pick you guys back up, but I just want to explain a few things about the salt bath. So the salt bath is actually meant to burn your fish. It is, here, I'll read it for you. It's not meant to burn to hurt, by the way. Here, I'll put a picture up on the screen or I'll just see if this will actually focus. There we go. So, I'll read it real quick, guys. So, it says, Electrolytes are essential for the uptake of oxygen and expulsion of carbon dioxide and ammonia. So, it's supposed to help with regale function, reduce electrolyte loss, and reduce the harmful effects of nitrates. You guys can see, OJ kind of just chills in here. At one, Sometimes, they'll just like randomly freak out, and they will turn black. I don't know if you guys can see, OJ's like bright black. Let's see if I can get an angle in there. You guys can see he's pretty black. Um, that's what they do when they get kind of peed off. So he's pretty used to this though. Um, so this is supposed to help. You guys can see. I definitely think it's gotten better. You can kind of see the tissue healing a little bit. 
Um, but if this doesn't get better, guys, I'm going to uh, see if I can call my exotic vet. Um, he's like actually taken care of all my animals before. I'm gonna call him up and see um, if anything's wrong. But yeah, so I'll get back to you guys in 15 minutes. So make sure you guys are watching the fish because if you have garamis or anything, they will jump out. So make sure you guys are watching the fish and I'll get back to you guys in 15 minutes. A few moments later. OJ's timer just went up for the salt bath. Then I noticed this quarry right here. I don't know if you guys can see. I think it has swim bladder. It is swimming upside down and its body is a different color. So I don't know like what's going on. Um, it's kind of weird. Um, I do not know. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but like it's laying on the ground right now, and it's it's just like I don't know. So we're just gonna put OJ back in. So what I like to do when I put my fish back in after a salt bath is you don't want to try to get the salt in there. So what I like to do, well that's sitting here, and you want him to just acclimate. Yes, it is the same tank water, but I mean acclimate to the different parameters. So I just kind of have him. And you know the salt's on the bottom, so you kind of just let it sit like this. And he'll swim out as he pleases. If he doesn't want to come out right now, he don't got to come out right now. Just simple as that. And there you go. Take your water. And you just dump it out. Just make sure not to get the salt. That's what I do. Because the salt doesn't fully dissolve. And the salt is not going to kill where it comes to worse. It's not going to kill your fish if it goes into the water. So like that and you guys can see all the salt particles are still on the bottom guys and that's how i do my salt baths now oj you guys can see it is definitely healing you can see his scar tissue coming up which means it's healing if you would come closer i could show you guys more there you guys go you can kind of see how you can tell that it's healing you guys see the scar tissue forming that red stuff is the scar tissue so you guys can see, it is definitely getting better. It's gonna get worse before it gets better, guys. That's kind of what happens when you bacterial and fungus infections. I don't know what's going on with that quarry cat, by the way, guys. Just like laying on the bottom. You guys can see him down there. So I'm gonna probably do something with him, but guys for watching another one of my videos if you guys do enjoy it drop a like smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one make sure you do research i'm out and i'll see you on the next one do your research i'm out peace click on one of those two videos at the outro and if you didn't already subscribe leave a comment like and the comment of the day is leave a comment if you're watching this video and if you are you're an animal